So here's the tank. I decided I um, want to do a little bit of a rescape. You can see this area back here is um, it's kind of empty. And if you look down from the top, you can actually see the uh, piece of acrylic that used to hold the uh, the rock together in another system. Um, so I want to try and cover that up and just make make some use of this space back here. Um, for a couple more frags and then I'm also I'm also thinking about moving my um, clam up because as you can see it's it's pretty low down the tank I mean you have quite a distance and I don't have a par meter I'd like to get one pretty soon but I think it, it it's not as colorful as when I got it um, I've had it for a few years so I'm not worried about it um, dying or anything but I think I think getting it a little more light will be uh, a good idea. Um, I also picked up a rock flower anemone. It is approximately half an inch across, but it's got some really nice colors, and I'm gonna put it right there between the other two rock flowers. And I'm hoping someday they'll spawn. Uh, the green one spawns all the time, but I'm not sure how you tell if it's their male or female. So I'd like to have little baby rock flowers, which would be awesome. But uh, I'll do a little video here of me redoing the scape and see how it turns out. So here are the changes that I've made in the sump. Um, I think the first thing that I did was my skimmer kept overflowing. So I went ahead and I put in this um, basically fish box, right? And uh, you can see the nasty stuff in there. Um, but I put this float valve on it and this goes over to my uh, reef Keeper light, which I've had operating for about uh, 15 years now. <laughs> but anyway, float switch goes up, and if you watch the skimmer, shuts right off. So now I don't have to worry about it overflowing anymore, and this is super easy. I mean, I clean this out once every probably two weeks every time I do a water change. Not even that it needs to be cleaned out, but I like keeping the, uh, the skimmer neck nice and clean. Um, second thing that I did was I redesigned the sump from how it was originally. Uh, we added this kit I got on eBay, which is it's like a perforated section right here that the water can go through freely, and then there's an adjustable height on the um, on the water level, which is really nice because. I didn't have that before and my water level, you can almost see where it used to be, it was up here. So I was able to drop it quite a bit, that brought my skimmer down, my filters down, and it made everything just fit a little bit nicer in here. Um, I also added the Tunzi Refugium Light um, and the Kato, which I basically was able to beat back some of the algae that I was having issues with. but. Um, I didn't want it coming back, so I got the Kato, and I made basically a tumbler with this uh, Yebo DCW 1500 pump. Um, that flows out and into a UV sterilizer, which I can get to the reasoning behind that in a minute, but uh, pumps back in, and I drilled a hole in a perforated, I drilled a hole in a PVC pipe, and probably no, probably 15 holes so I could get a circular water flow going here. And the idea was that the cable would go in there and flow around and tumble like you see online. And it worked for a few weeks, but um, the ball of Kato has been in there, I don't know, three months now, and it has not grown at all. So 
uh, algae grows all over the place. I even put a turbo snail in there to uh, keep it all clean from algae. But the Kato does not grow, so I'm not exactly sure why. I guess it's not a huge problem, but it was kind of a waste to do all that. Uh, I might end up just turning it into, you know, kind of do a DIY algae reactor.